what is going on guys welcome to your 25th tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about something called full text searching it's an awesome feature that's built into MySQL basically if you ever thought about making a search engine or maybe you just have a website where you already have a search functionality and maybe you're using like wildcards or a like statement or regular expressions to let users search your website for something that's nice and all but now let me introduce you guys introduce you guys to full text searching it is just hands down way better than any other search feature that you can build and awesome thing is it's already built into MySQL so the first thing we need to do is we actually need to enable this now typically whenever you create a table for the very first time that's when you decide what columns you want to enable full full text searching on however since we already created this table or I did rather we just want to alter the table a little bit so I know I didn't tell you guys how to create tables or alter tables so we're jumping a little bit ahead here but just go ahead and type in this code alter table and then go ahead and type in the table name which is items and what we want to do is how do we want to alter it we want to add a functionality called full text not test text now inside the parentheses just go ahead and write a column that has some text in it you don't want to write any numerical columns here or else it's not going to work out now go ahead and run this query I'm not going to go ahead and run it again because I already have full text enabled because well I was playing around with it later on or earlier on so go ahead and run this and once you do you might see a little prompt on your screen as long as you don't get any error messages you're good to go but anyways now that you ran that query full text is now enabled on that column name so we can now basically treat it like a search engine and search for things in that column so let me go ahead and run a real quick example select name and cost from items where now instead of having a where statement like maybe the word is like baby or maybe I'm gonna use a regular expression to make it baby maybe make some wild cards uh -uh. that's for noobs we are here to learn about full text searching and the syntax is a little weird the first thing you wanna write is match now for this um, argument or parameter whatever you want to call it inside the parentheses you write what column do you want to search in and I want to search in the name column because well quite frankly it's the only one that we enabled full text searching on but if you have multiple columns make sure to specify here so basically what column do you want to search in we want to search in the name column now what do you want to search for and you do that by writing the word against now against just like match it takes parentheses and inside the parentheses you write your search term so what do you want to search for? Well, I'm just going to search for the word baby because I know that there's some items with the word baby. It's like a baby coat, baby pacifier maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. So go ahead and hit go. And what it does is it takes the keyword baby and it search. It basically searches all the items in the name column. And it ends up with baby coat, baby seat, baby soap, baby bottle. Pretty cool. A couple baby items. Maybe I'll buy some for my little cousin. Who knows? So basically if you're like okay I could have done this exact same thing using the light keyword because you told me that before it seemed pretty neat I'm gonna use that for my search engine instead well you can but there's a couple things going on behind the scenes and hopefully I wanna tell you guys about those and hopefully I can talk you guys out of it even though you can't see it in this example what MySQL is doing is it's ranking all of the results depending on how well it's matched for example whenever you go to Google and type in the word uh, I don't know dog or something it just doesn't get random results and you know give you whatever is on its mind whatever it's feeling it actually has these results ranked depending on you know what people click before whatever algorithm they use they rank them in very smart fashion and that's what this is doing right here even though you can't see it because I don't know these are really bad examples but it's ranking it based on the number of keywords the number of total words in the name column and a bunch of other criteria that a bunch of smart people figure it out so aside from that <coughs> oh excuse me I got whoopee cough aside from ranking them automatically for you which is awesome it's not only better than like irregular expressions for that but it's a lot faster too I know you guys can't tell because these queries are really simple and my database isn't that big but full text searching is usually a ton faster than using regular expressions or the like statement and another cool thing that you can do is you can customize these a little bit further 
So say for example that, uh, I don't know, your user wanted to look for baby items, but they didn't want to look for baby coats. Well, this has a special, uh, I want to say, as a special feature, I guess, would be the best way, and it's called a Boolean mode. So go ahead and after you're against, but make sure you're in your parentheses still, type in Boolean mode. Now, I'm just going to show you guys a couple um, symbols, but there are like 10 or 12 symbols that you can use. I'm going to show you guys two real quick. Now, a uh, symbol, the plus sign is whenever you type plus a word, it means make sure that this word is included. So it's only going to give you results where the word baby is included, just like before. Now, another easy one that we can understand, minus is make sure that this word isn't included. So basically, we want to search again using full text searching, but what we want to do is only search for the items that have the word baby and they don't include the word coat. So last time we ended up with baby coat, baby seat, baby soap, baby bottle. But now we want to take out baby coat, so we would do something like this. So run this beast and check it out. We get baby seat, baby soap, baby, bo baby bottle. Wow, that's kind of like a tongue, tongue twister, but no baby coat. So again, like I said, those are two easy symbols. Those are pretty, probably the easiest ones that I could think of right now, but there are a lot of other ones, and a lot of them deal with how the results are ranked. And um, guys, I encourage you to go on the website, go look at all the symbols, but I'm not going to bore you going through them all and show you all the little itty gritty details. But anyways, whenever you want to use the symbols, that's how you use them in Boolean mode. So anyways, I know you guys are probably not sold on full text searching yet, but whenever you make a huge database, trust me guys, don't forget about it, use it, and you'll see the benefits of it. But for now, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to add me on Google+, and I will see you guys in the next video.